Well, I think now we, we can start. Uh, good afternoon and welcome back to NATO headquarters. Uh, I will say a few few things on, on Libya and then also a few words on, on Kosovo. Uh, I would like to start uh, by saying that on Libya, NATO allies and our partners are following developments in the country closely. While these remain fluid, our mission is not. It is to prevent attacks and threats against civilians and nations remain resolute in that mission. If Gaddafi's threats, attacks, and obstruction of humanitarian aid continue, so will our operations to protect Libyan civilians. But we have always said that a military solution is not enough in Libya. There has to be a political solution to this crisis. Our military pressure is helping to set the conditions for a political solution. Meanwhile, I can say that the Gaddafi regime is increasingly isolated, and the question is not if Gaddafi will have to step down, but when. Let me now say a few words on Kosovo. NATO continues to follow events in northern Kosovo very closely. As you know, the North Atlantic Council met last week on July 28th uh, with our partners in K4 to review the situation, and our message is very clear. Violence is unacceptable. We welcome the fact that the situation has calmed down, and dialogue is the only solution to the current situation. K4 will continue to take the necessary measures within its mandate to maintain a safe and secure environment in close coordination with Ulex. And with this, I will hand over to Roland in Naples for our media operational update on our operations in Libya. Roland, you have the floor, please. Bonjour, Carmen, and uh, thank you for the introduction. Uh, as always, uh, I welcome uh, your questions in English or in French. And the transla translations and the transcript from uh, today's update uh, will be made available on the NATO website. So let us begin. Uh, along the coast, uh, the lines of uh, confrontations uh, between pro qaddafi and anti qaddafi forces east of Tripoli around Zlitan and in the east, near Brega, have seen minor fluctuations as uh, anti qaddafi forces continue to push westward. However, uh, there has been a significant increase in activity in the Nafusa Mountains, southwest of Tripoli. Over the weekend, the anti qaddafi forces have made significant advances in the region towards the village, uh, the village of al Josh. The retreat of pro qaddafi forces from this area has resulted in encouraging pause in the shelling from Takut into Nalut. More recently, there are unconfirmed reports that the town of al Josh has been retaken by pro qaddafi forces, which illustrates how dynamic the situation remains. What is significant about these advances is that the main supply route is no longer under the control of uh, pro qaddafi forces, allowing humanitarian assistance to move more freely from Tunisia into the region. For instance, in cities uh, once held by pro qaddafi forces, like uh, Yafran, on the northern edge of the Nafusa Mountains, pro qaddafi forces uh, had looted or destroyed many businesses, houses, uh, infrastructures, and basically the local population was left with little electricity and very uh, low water supplies, uh, and including also no medical clinic. In Musrata now, uh, while the citizens enjoy uh, relative security, uh, they are still subject to occasional shelling by pro qaddafi forces operating out of Taurga, uh, which is south of Musrata. The shelling has been centered on the port facilities and the airport, as well as the LISCO fuel storage facility. This facility was not used for military purpose, uh, and there was no military advantage for pro qaddafi forces to destroy it, as it was providing vital support to the local populations, uh, facilities, and public institutions. During the past week, NATO maintained a strong presence across Libya, air and maritime environments, and has moved with determination to protect the people of Libya from attacks, with concentrated airstrikes against pro qaddafi forces south of Misrata and east uh, of Tripoli around Zlitan. 
As a result, the level of systematic attacks against civilians is relatively low for the time being. NATO continues to deny pro-Gaddafi forces the capability to threaten the civilian population and impede the delivery of humanitarian aid. As we now have entered the, the period of Ramadan, uh, and since we have several media queries on NATO's posture for the coming weeks, I would like to say a few words on this matter. NATO and partnering nations have a profound and sincere respect for Muslims and their faith. As we enter the holy month of Ramadan, we are all reminded that we share a common respect for human life. It is greatly hoped that the Qadhafi regime will refrain from attacking the civilian population. People have suffered too much. Many are afraid and all want security. Our message is clear. There's never a wrong time to protect human life. Now would be a good time for pro qadhafi forces to do so. We have seen time and time again that the Qadhafi regime shows a shocking disregard for human life, using civilians as human shields and launching attacks from civilian facilities and even mosques. Even last night, shelling by pro qadhafi forces continued this misrata, where at least 12 explosions were reported in the vicinity of the port. As long as there are attacks, threats of attacks, and incitement of violence against civilians, NATO will act to protect them. This is not a matter of religion, ethnicity, or culture but a commitment derived from a United Nations Security Council resolution in order to protect innocent victims. Some, including the Qadhafi regime, suggested that NATO should pause and stop enforcing the UN resolution during Ramadan. To be effective, a ceasefire would require a complete cessation of violence from Qadhafi forces. Cessation of violence by the regime must be verifiable and credible. pro qadhafi forces must return to their bases, stop threatening and attacking civilians, and allow the free delivery of humanitarian aid. NATO's view is that a true ceasefire must not be a pause during which the Qadhafi regime can rearm, resupply, regroup, or reposition its forces to resume attacks against civilians after the Ramadan. Again, the violence must stop, and NATO will remain vigilant and fully committed to its UN, mand UN mandate and to the population of Libya.